Nintendo has made some of the most high quality games and given so many different people cherished memories. Nintendo holds so many franchises that are allotted as some of the best. Their icons have fought against time itself and have come out on top, a majority of the time. But ignoring all that, there is no reason that Mario Tennis Aces should still be retailing for $60. They are the only company that I have seen get away with this insane pricing. What brings you in today, sir? Yeah, I was trying to decide what the higher quality product was, but I think uh, it's pretty obvious based off the pricing here. Normally, a couple months after a AAA game releases, its price begins to dip down slightly from a sale or two. Eventually, a price cut happens on that specific game where you can almost always find it around 20 to 30 off its original value at least. With Nintendo though, a game comes out and it stays, and the price stays some more. It gets cozy, pours a drink, relaxes, lets loose. Yeah, I've actually come to return this game for uh, 60. It, since it's worth 60, I believe, it should cover the cost of this game here. So, it makes sense. Oh, there's a first for everything. Now, while a lot of this pricing is true for Nintendo games on the eShop and in retail, I've started to see a slight break in the price depending on where you look. Namely, it's online or at Walmart, where everything is $10 cheaper for some off-putting reason. The store where they sell peaches sells Kirby Star Allies for the cheapest price out of any other retail store. If you're looking online, however, if you go on pricecharting.com, you'll find a lot of Nintendo games around $15 off from where they normally have been, which is a nice change of pace. But still, this is a far cry from every other company where you can find games like God of War for $15 on a given day. Now here's a bigger question. Why did Mario Tennis Aces launch at $60? This game came out with very minimal content at the same price as Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey. They should have a tiered pricing system for their releases, which grade by how much game they actually put into their product. Equality matters in everything. In the end, if a Nintendo game interests you, that price is not going down anytime soon.